Okay, good day everyone. This is your tech teacher Lambert and I'm here to discuss some basic functions of the ClassWiz calculator. So, for now, for this video, I'm going to discuss to you some menus of the calculator. Let's go! Okay, so the first thing that we have to know about the calculator it's, is its color coding. So, as you can see, we have here some yellow keys and we have some red keys. Also, we have blue keys and violet ones, all right? So for us to be able to access the yellow keys, what we have to do is to press the ship first. And for the red keys, of course, we have to press the alpha. So what about the blue keys and the violet ones? The blue keys will, uh, can be accessed when we are already in the base end mode. Also, the violet keys can be accessed if we are in the complex mode. Okay, a while ago, we have shown you the color coding of the calculator. Now, in this, in this uh, segment, we are going to show you the ClassWiz emulator. So as you can see, it's a bigger version, all right? So we're going to discuss the menus of the ClassWiz calculator, right? So to be able to see the menus, click menu. All right, so we have here menu number one, Number two, three, four, five, and as you can see, these are the names of the menus, okay? All right, for menu number one, so we have here the calculation mode. So what can we do in the calculation mode? So here are some problems that we can do under the calculation mode. Okay, so here are some uh, problems that we can do under calculation menu. Number one is solving equation, and the number two is prime factorization. But of course, we can still do a lot of things under the calculation mode. Just like the other calculator, this is the basic mode, basic scientific mode. All right, for example, we want to solve the first equation, 3x minus 5 is equal to 7. Okay, so let us now solve 3x minus 5 is equal to 7. So, we have to input the equation. Press 3, then x, then minus 5. Whoops, wait for a while. We cannot just use press this equals because it will not give you the answer. So, what equals we're going to use is the one under the calc mode. So, that is red, therefore we have to press alpha equals and press 7. Oops, don't be too fast. Don't press the equal sign because it will not give you the answer, right? So what we're going to press is the solve. And that is in yellow key, therefore we have to press shift. Count. All right. Wait, this is not yet the answer because this was the previous answer after solving some equations. What we have to press now is the equals for us to be able to get the value of x. And that's the value of x. Once you see this L minus R, meaning the left-hand side minus the right-hand side is equal to zero, then this is already the value of the variable that we are looking for. Okay, for our next problem, we have 2 times the quantity x minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 1. So, let us solve. Again, press the key, 2, then x minus 3 is equal to 2x quantity x plus 1. Alright, so again, for us to be able to find the answer, we need to press shift and then solve. And then again, this is the answer. Okay, so there are three possible uh, answers that you can see or the screen will display if you will not be able to see the answer or the value for x. One is cannot solve. That simply means that this, the equation has no solution. The second one is the math error when you have something in indeterminate or undefined form. And the last one is syntax error when you wrongfully press key or when you misplace a parenthesis in the equation. Okay, we shall now proceed to problem number three. It is about the logarithmic equation. So let's input the equation. The logarithm of five, 
uh, x to the base 5 is equal to the logarithm of the quantity x plus 1 to the base 3. I'm sorry, 5x minus 2 to the base 3. Then, shift cal, then equals. Alright, so that's the answer. Since we need the answer to be to the nearest hundreds, so the final answer that we're going to write in our answer sheet is 0 0.53 or 53 hundreds. Okay, why did we use or why did we choose these three equations? Simply because these equations are one-to-one -one functions. So as you can see, um, calculation mode can solve a lot of one-to-one -one functions. What if we're going to solve uh, equations having a lot of answers? Can we still use this calculation mode? The answer is yes. But again, it will only give you one possible answer. Okay, another best feature of this calculator is about the prime factorization because if you are a contestant, you have to learn the prime factorization of the number of the year where the contest is conducted. For example, we want to get the prime factorization of 1001. So you just have to input 1001 and for the key or for the calculator, to know the number, you have to press equals first. And then after that, look at the fact here, F-A-C-T, this means factorization. And since this is yellow key, you have to press shift. Alright, so that's the prime factorization of 1001. Another example, since this year is 2020, let us see the prime factorization of the year 2020. So press 2020 again, then equals, and then shift, factorize. So that's the prime factorization of 2020. Okay, so that ends our first video. So see you for next video later. Bye-bye.